Alright, ready? And three, two, one, action! Hey guys, welcome back to One Life Today. I hope you guys had a great week with your friends and family. Today, we are going to be talking about the story of Jesus. Isn't that right, Coda? <laughs> yeah. So guys, I have really important news for you. How many days or weeks until Christmas? Two weeks! Two weeks, guys, until Christmas. That was a pretty silly announcement, but I have an important question. Have you, any of you guys experienced really good news? Maybe it's your parents telling you that you have a baby brother or a baby sister. Or maybe it's that you won a soccer match or that you got a really good grade on a test. Today we're going to be diving into a story where we discuss some really, really good news that is brought to all of us. And that is the birth of Jesus and his story. So there's this girl named Mary, and she was just living a normal life on a farm in a small town with her family. She was getting ready to marry this guy named Joseph. And Mary had a lot of things she liked to do. She liked to play games. Uh, she had to do chores around the house. Um, and she was just living a normal life until one day, all of a sudden, out of the blue, she was visited by an angel named Gabriel. And Gabriel spoke to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored, and the Lord is with you. That's kind of a weird way to greet someone, isn't it? Normally we just say like, hi, how are you? Or like, hey, how you doing? How's your day going? Uh, but the angel greeted Mary pretty strange. And I bet if you guys greeted your parents that way when they got home, uh, they'd probably think it was, it was pretty weird, right? And this must have been how Mary felt. She was kind of troubled by the way Gabriel had greeted her and she thought maybe the only reason he was being extra super nice to her was because he had a really big favor to ask, right? It's kind of like uh, when someone's really nice to you at school and you're, you're maybe you're afraid uh, really they just want to ask for help with homework or something. So Gabriel knew that Mary was feeling this way, so he said to her, Don't worry, you haven't done anything wrong. I'm bringing you really good news, in fact. I was told to tell you that you are going to have a baby, and he won't be any normal baby, but he will be the promised savior, the son of God. So talk about big news, right? Mary had just been told that not only was she gonna have a baby, uh, but she was gonna have the, the son of God, the savior of all the world. Uh, and that seems pretty impossible. Uh, but Gabriel would tell her that God can do the impossible. So Mary knew something really important that the, the angel told her. She knew that God could do the impossible and he could do it through ordinary people like Mary and like you and like me. Mary wasn't extraordinary in any obvious way. Um, she probably wasn't the smartest in town or the most athletic, uh, right? She was just an average person who loved God um, so, so, so much and she believed in her God when he made a promise. So having faith in God like Mary means believing that God can do the impossible, right? There's no specific requirement we have to meet before um, God can do that for us, right? Just like Mary, we can just be average humans and believe that God can do the impossible, like he did when he came down and told Mary, you're gonna give birth to the Son of God, our Savior, right? And do you guys know what he said the Son of God was going to be called. He was going to be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Uh, and now that God is with us, we can do the impossible too. <laughs>